Well, welcome back to BPM, and as I say, it may be raining outside, but in my heart it's spring, because Brenda, we're about to spring into the hottest techno night in the Midlands on a Friday. Yes, we've come all the way to Stoke-on-Trent, girls and boys, for Club Kinetics, a digital night. That's right, yeah, and all you techno heads, sit right down, because this is your evening. We've got wall-to-wall -wall futuristic hardcore with the likes of Joey Beltram, Full Effects, Rowdy, and Clarky from Dreamscape. Well, what can I say tonight? But we're making waves, yes, because it's not just kinetic energy tonight, it's wave energy as well. We touch down with Atlantic Ocean. Digital draws clubbers from all over the UK. And since our last visit, the club has been refurbished by the boys from Banorama who work very closely with Kinetic. The main hardcore room has a large dance floor featuring raised podiums and the DJ booth at one end. Off the main room is a bar chill-out space and a corridor leading to a room playing house, which tonight is strictly off-limits. Because we're dealing with DJ super heavyweights, and they don't come much classier than Joey Beltram. a long way from the ghetto subculture that infused it with a vitality that excited and scared a wider audience. Now, Prophets of the City are a timely reminder of rap's liberating force. Sprung from South Africa's Cape Town, their new single, Never Again, is our video of the week. tonight uh like last year we've got the promoters we've got andy and we've got sammy and we've got glenn and you've uh you've taken in uh, sammy here from banorama haven't you to uh create some changes in the decor darling isn't that right that's right we commissioned uh, banorama to uh refit the club out and they've done us a nice paint job and designed us a few ideas yeah was it looking a little bit passe dare i say it's never ever looked passe oh, never good, good. just it's just our way of sort of giving something back and keeping it fresh, you know? Obviously our hire ban is the club scenes for some time, but at the moment um, they've commissioned me in. I don't often do clubs. No, because, what, is, is it like beneath you, Sammy? Well, no, it's the best thing that we actually do, it's just that so we... you chance to do it often? No, and the fact that we're so busy, we're working with so many clients at the moment, that the hire side is actually taking over any painting that we can do. So to do this, it takes months of preparation really. I, Sammy, Sammy, it could be tears, tears before bed here man. I was thinking about getting you in to do my, my little home.
London's finest homegrown is harvested on Skunk Records' second compilation, this some Bad Weed Volume 2. The genre-busting compilation album features people like Brandon Block, Dean Thatcher, The Same as a Paradise, and the uh, incomparable Baby Fox. Anyway, we tripped across town and smelt the sweet smell of skunk. <laughs> Well, as you know, BPM is absolutely remorseless in its attempts to get everybody from around the world in front of our cameras. And uh, this man has just got out of bed after arriving in the country this morning. Joey Beltram is the man. He's about to play outside to uh, about a thousand people going crazy already. You're over for a weekend. I mean, what's it like to spend your time commuting between New York and Europe? It's crazy. I do it a lot, but it's uh, it, it takes its toll, you know. It's a long flight, and when I come here, I'm just... There's a lot of things I want to do, but I usually just wind up just falling right out onto the bed and just going to sleep until it's time, you know, to spin. Do you find there's enough work going for you in the States? I mean, is the house and techno scene kind of developing at such a pace where you don't need to come to Europe? Um, nah, it, it, it's, it's pretty, uh, you know, dodgy over there right now. It's, really? Yeah, in, especially in New York, so I just am really not into that over there. I'm, I just hide out, make my tracks hang out whatever i mean you have loads of european deals you have warp records in the uk i think and the rns of course in uh, belgium and europe um is techno just more of a european tradition now um well you know I, i'm still inspired a lot by the chicago stuff and that's the stuff i've always tried to keep closely with but i like a lot of uh european stuff and i like you know the 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 whole scene over the dancing, a lot of energy, and a lot of it, it, everything, you know, kind of inspires me. And then just life in New York in general, you know, the hardness and stuff. Uh -huh. I mean, you kind of like, you know, you're a recluse in some respects. We don't kind of like see that much on you other than kind of in the gossip columns. Where recently I read that you were about to produce Metallica. No, no. It's, I like Metallica. Somebody probably heard that and took it, uh, you know, however they wanted. But, uh, no, nah, there's no plans or anything like that at all. <laughs> what about doing kind of like crossover stuff, though, with like more, you know, kind of American rock bands and stuff? Are you interested in that? Nah, I mean, I grew up listening to rock, you know, um, living in New York. I grew up on heavy metal and stuff, but it's not my niche. It's not my thing. I just, something I listen to, you know, this is what I do. You say you grew up with light rock, but I heard that you were a graffiti artist before you were kind of techno head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when I grew up in New York, I was just, uh, I was always into art and stuff, you know, drawing when I, when I was you know, a kid and stuff. And um, where I lived, you know, around the subways, you know, I live, it's sort of, uh, you know, a hard type place. And there's a lot of graffiti going around in, in the 80s. Everyone was a writer, and I did my share on the subways and stuff. And I was always into art and getting my name up in a lot of places. And uh, came up quite a bit in the 80s on the subways. But now I just really do a lot of walls and stuff, legit walls and stuff, you know. Normally you're kind of like quite cool and just, you know, into music and stuff. Is that the image you like to put out? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just a regular guy, man. Just normal, everyday, everyday guy.
the Dutch eco-friendly unit Atlantic Ocean broke cover this week to tell us about their new age debut LP. Along with her was Paul Taylor, DJ, remixer and label boss and the man responsible for bringing them to a wide... For a sight, that's it, another lip-smacking, thirst-quenching, ace-tasting, motivating techno night out with Joey Beltram kicking up a storm on the decks, Brenda falling off the stairs and uh, a big thank you to everybody here at Digital in Stoke on Trent. Yeah, thanks to Andy Johnson, Glenn Banks, and thanks to a team from Leighton Stone who wants to know when we're going to do another hip-hop club. Well, Dave, have you got any news on that? There's a feed coming through at the moment. I've got a buzzing in my ear. What's the, what's the, what's the low down there? No, it's just a buzzing in my ear. Sorry, oh, oh, I think the answer's soon, honey. I think that's what it is. Akeem, anyway, stay tuned, and soon you'll get your answer, right? Definitely, and don't Something. forget, yeah, there'll be an answer soon. And uh, don't forget Brenda's coat. Next week we'll be showing you how to make one out of an old teddy bear, a couple of cornflake boxes, and a toothpaste tube. Yeah, Vivian, eat your heart out. Bye-bye.